Okay, so this is a 75 gram 4K CineWhoop. It's uh, based off the Tomaquad's Whoopi HD XL frame, the Beta FPV 12 amp uh, all in one flight controller ESC, and the, uh, these are the 1103 8000 KV Beta FP motors. Let's see if I can get to the focus. You see these in a preview before, and this is actually the 85X frame that has the inside parts cut out so that you can mount it to this frame. So it's held together in the back here and on the bottom of the frame itself here. Um, yeah, and of course 4K because it's got the new Cadex Tarsier. I guess I'm, I've been pronouncing the, the name wrong incorrectly. Actually, I'm not even sure if Tarsier is correct or not. Let me know in the comments below. However, I was super excited about this build and I only got about mm, six or seven flights on this before the supposedly this um, all-in-one flight controller from which is actually from beta, beta FPV and get bar C the 12 amp is supposed to replace the crazy bee it's supposed to fix all the problems blah 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 well apparently an ESC has burned out as well as one of the motors so yeah I was really disappointed with that I mean it was flying okay had a good tune um, the motors weren't getting hot or anything like that I had a very minor very very minor crash um, at the playground, you know, flying this as a Cinewhoop, you know, I think uh, the wind pushed me into one of the little metal bars, and I fell to the ground, I don't know, maybe four or five feet, you know, pretty minor crash, and uh, yeah, it, after that, it, it uh, basically you plug in the battery, you get EC tones from, I think, three of the ECs, one, one doesn't do anything, and then uh, the flight controller is completely dead, so I, I plug it into... Uh, Beta flight via the USB and nothing happens. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, pretty big disappointment. But I do want to talk about the flight footage I, uh, of the of this, the flight that I did get. And um, yeah, I, obviously we're talking about beta firmware here on the camera itself. So in the daytime you get quite a bit of vibration and jello, obviously because it's very light build, especially any kind of wind. So the jury's still out on this, so whether or not this is really viable or not, because I want to see when we get the final firmware. And we see what the uh, image stabilization looks like. Maybe that will clean that up. And also when we get the ND filters. That is also coming later. So we'll have to see whether or not this sort of these uh, 4K CineWhoops are going to be viable or not. Now I will show you, you know, I will show you pictures of my build. It's, it, I would say this is a pretty tough build. Uh, if you're a beginner, this is like your first, second, or third build. I would say don't bother. Uh, you, unless you want to bang your head against the wall for about two weeks, uh, yeah, this is a pretty tough. This is a pretty tough build. I mean, basically, uh, I've got the flight control stack at the bottom there. The motor is plugged into the flight controller, and then uh, between the frame and the flight controller, I've got the uh, XM Plus uh, receiver because this one doesn't have a built-in receiver. And then on top of the flight controller, I've got the Happy Model uh, video transmitter, and then above that, I have the uh, Tarsier uh, camera boards. And it, everything just barely fits in here and it's all you know I think it's a 22 millimeter standoff here supposedly you could get a, a taller standoff and, and get a little more space in there if you want but yeah, it's a very it's a very challenging build so unless you're an experienced builder I wouldn't recommend attempting to build this there obviously will be um, pre-built ones coming I think the first one I've seen is the iFlight Cinebi 4k uh, I think that's on pre-order right now now I don't have one of those yet those aren't going to be shipping until probably the end of June, so we'll have to see. I mean, they're waiting. They're waiting to see what I'm waiting to see is whether or not this firmware fixes are going to clean up the vibration issues on the camera, uh, because you'll, you know, obviously you've seen from the footage that it's not so great uh, with a lot of vibration, especially in bright sunlight. Uh, obviously, with ND filters that might help, uh, also with image stabilization that might help as well. So again, as I said, the jury's still out. You know, so look at the footage and understand that it's not necessarily the final product um, but we'll have to wait and see so i just wanted to show you guys this i think what's possible at 75 grams i think this is probably going to be one of the lightest ones that you're going to be able to see out there this is the, i think the cine b1 uh, 4k from iflight is like 110 grams something like that so it's like 35 grams more than that so this and this or that and this is like 75 grams so that's like almost 50 percent more weight compared to this now, some might say that that's better. It might handle wind better because it's got a little bit more mass and you may be able to carry a bigger battery. I think that has a different motor system. 
again, you know, I'll put a link down in the description. You guys can check out that product and the specs and all that. I haven't actually looked at that carefully. Um, but I just wanted to show you what's possible with this sort of platform here. Uh, I'm not going to be, I'm going to kind of shelve this for a little while. I'm going to take the camera out of here, put in something else. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to probably get another 12 amp board if I want to use this in the future. But I'm a little skeptical about these boards now because I, ha I have like 15 of the Crazy Bees and I've only had one burnout in ESC. I've had some 5 volt regulators burn out of me. I think you've heard that from previous videos. But I only had like 6 or 7 flights on this and I had a very minor crash and I have a dead motor and a dead ESC now. So pretty disappointed. Um, hopefully Beta FPV will send me a replacement. I can do some more testing. But yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be it for at least for the beta FPV stuff. If they don't send me the replacement parts because you're not gonna be seeing another video, we'll see if they respond to my inquiries or not. You'll and you'll find out in a future video. Anyway, here's footage for you, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about this sort of idea of a 4K Cineweb and the weight and the build and all that. Uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.